All right, so one of the things before you actually start duct cleaning, you should go around and inspect everything. Uh, look for anything unusual. Look at the positions of dampers. Uh, should probably open up the dampers. You know, like here's a damper. Uh, if it's closed, you should take a marker, mark it what position it is, open it up so when you clean the duct, this is wide open. We can get past it. Go around all the, you know, uh, takeoffs and mark everything. So mark it for its position, that way you could put it back where it was uh, so the house is back in the same balance you found it. Another thing you want to look for, for example at my home, which I've done, uh, you can see some cables going up through the returns. So to get up to the second floor, instead of you know, doing it the lazy man's way, I put it right up through the return air and came up through. So if you imagine, if I put a spinning brush in that duct, it's going to catch onto that wire and just twist it all up. So I've done that in a couple of places, so I need to make sure that I need to uh, fix that. Or just don't use the spinning brush on those. I need to use the air hose. So you can see where it goes right up through into the duct. So we need to use the air hose only on those so we don't ruin the cables uh, when we do this. three vents in the house. I'm not going to videotape all of them, just some of them so you can see what we do and how we do it. Um, we're going to pull off the register, vacuum, clean, brush off, vacuum the register, and stuff it with a foam plug. Um, and then we'll go register to register to do that on the supply side. We'll, uh, and after that, we'll be removing the plug independently and sending some spinning brushes down that. So I've got my vacuum. Got a brush over there, and we'll start uh, videotaping. See if we can give you guys a rough look. stuff this plug in there. It's a squishy so it'll fit right in there. Alright, we're gonna have to kind of put this down I guess. Dust we're seeing is because I got the heat on. Let me shut that off. Let me shut the heat off so it stops blowing air up through the vents. Uh, and then we'll move on to the next. That's a
So we got all the boots vacuum cleaned and plugged, at least on the supply side. We'll do the return second. Uh, I'm going to shut off the furnace, block off the air filter so we can uh, make sure we don't suck any air from the return through the furnace and then back up into the supply. We want all the air to come through the supply ducts. So we're going to pull out the pre filter. Stick it in the bag and put it back in. So no air can get past it. Slide it back in. Put this back on. So again, try and stop as much duct leakage as we can. off and we'll go uh, turn on our machine um, I am pulling some of the supply ducts there's like two or three on that side of the furnace that'll actually have to come across the top of the furnace so I'm gonna lay uh, a towel over the top of the heat exchanger just to make sure if there is any dirt that falls down, it doesn't get down into the furnace. So, to do that, let's see if we can well, pull off this humidifier. This is the unused humidifier. Let's get a towel. See, I just have a towel laying on top of the heat exchanger cells. I do got a supply duct over there, and our vacuum is over here. So I can move it over there, but it's more work than it's worth. I think I have a supply on the top too. Yeah, there we go. Another one over there. We just don't want all that dirt falling down in the furnace. And the towel should stay in place since we have our air cleaner blocked. No air should be coming up through the furnace. So, but we'll double check on that as time goes on. All right, so now let's fire up our air care. And be on should start up on normal. Start. not going to pull as much of a vacuum with this big opening here. I got to put my humidifier back on. Set this down. All right. Now we'll start it back up. So the air discharges out of vents on both sides of the unit here.
we've got our camera hooked up. I'm going to try and show maybe on one or two vents going down through so you can. Here's the camera. Here's the brush. You'll see it spinning. And then I'll put the. Here's my recorder. So hopefully that's coming out okay. We'll be able to see what's going on inside the ductwork on a couple of the supply vents. We're going to start out in the kitchen here, unplug that one, and uh, go one at a time. So then we can speed it up, slow it down. So there it's going slower. Or I can speed it up as much as I want. So then with our switch, I can go off and then reverse the other way. And let's turn this on, see what she looks like in the camera here. So there's that. screen a little closer to the brush so we can see a little better. So we did finish cleaning this first one. Um, so if you want to see what kind of draw we have on this, so we can get this. Oh, is my battery dead? There we go. Good draw. So as we brush, blow air, it'll pull everything back to our containment system. Alright. So I'm also going to blow a little air through it. Look at this tangled up. So many things that get tangled up together. That there. Put this in the hose.
better view on the camera here. I need a little more air hose in here.
So air duct cleaning, definitely a two man job. Um, I've only finished doing the supply ducts. We'll have to do the return ducts another day. Uh, so where we're at, we'll show you the, again, our supply side over here. This is our supply duct. I'm gonna look up into this one. Not really too bad. Put some lights up in there so you can actually see. Here's our after. Another light. I had a, I did add a, another access port on the side of the duct a little further. Ducts are pretty wide. I had a hard time getting them clean. But pretty clean all the way around. Uh, dark that way. Here's where I added another access port so I can uh, get in and clean it better. Okay. In preparation, I've also had, added an access port to the return. So, we're going to need, uh, if I needed it on the spot, I'm going to need it on the return. Take a look up in here for now. I have not cleaned the return. So we're gonna still have to clean the return another day. So I gotta patch supply and return holes for now. Um, machine's disconnected. We're going to turn the heat back on for the day and do the returns another day. So that should be part three. Thanks for watching. Okay, got our hole patched up. <clears throat> heat is back up and running. So we've only done the supply duct so far. Take a look and see what kind of uh, the amount of filth we got. Pretty decent amount. A lot of garbage, loose stuff. Out. So far I'm happy with uh, duct cleaning. That's on the supply side. So the return, return is definitely going to be a lot worse. So, but we got the supply done. Let's see if the secondary filter got anything garbage on it. filters doesn't look like it but it's pretty dirty can you see the dust coming off of it and our HEPA filter you can see the dust that got through those two filters that's all what's in the HEPA filter so we'll take that outside Bang it upside down and uh, gets all the fine dust particles out of it. Use it as long as you can and then you put a new one in. Alright, so I'll clean all this stuff out before we actually uh, do the return air. We'll 
I'll uh, show you guys what that's all about.